Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of my DVD Blu-ray collection. Today we're starting off with Men in Black. This stars Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, another release by Sony. Uh, you know, I have to say that the two best companies that are making the, the, the best Blu-rays right now are Sony and Disney. Um, and they just have really cool looking cases too. But, um... This is a, a really great release. Picture quality is fantastic on this, um, as well as quite a few special features. It's just a, a, a funny film overall. Next up is Moon. This stars Sam Rockwell, and he gives, I think, probably his best performance in this film. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell you much about the uh, the plot because I don't want to give anything away. But definitely check out my review uh, I did earlier. I'll probably put a, uh, a a link down um, in the info box but um, just some some decent special features on this uh, and great picture quality and it's just a great film overall okay next up is Walt Disney's National Treasure this stars Nicolas Cage and Diane Kruger and it's it's a it's a fun film um, of course the, the plot doesn't make you really any sense but you know uh, the the actors in it are very likable. Um, you know it's it's written fairly well, uh, but uh, it's just very fun and really good picture quality. Next up is Near Dark. Now I'm probably going to be reviewing this uh, in October uh, for Halloween, but um, this is a film by uh, Catherine Bigelow. She directed it. She also directed The Hurt Locker. But this stars um, Adrian Pazdar, uh, as you may know from Heroes, and he actually, um, on an, one night on when he's out in the town, he uh, meets this this girl here, um, but she turns out to be a vampire and she turns him into one. Um, it has an interesting take on uh, the vampire genre. Um, also has uh, Bill Paxton in it as well as uh, one of the vampires. Um, picture quality, not not so great. Um, probably better than the DVD. I have, haven't seen the DVD of it, but um, there's a, a definite issue with uh, some blurring in it. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't a, a major issue. Um, at least not for me. Uh, still a, a pretty good film. Uh, you can pick this one up very cheap. I think this is at Walmart in the bargain bins for like eight, ten bucks. Right, next up we have Mel Gibson in The Patriot. Um, as I said um, in an earlier part, um, this is done by, directed by uh, Ronald Emmerich, um, and it tell it's based off a, a true story set during the Revolutionary War. Um, but great picture quality on this. Uh, this is another release by Sony. Only two featurettes on it, though. Not uh, a lot of special features there at all. But, you know, one thing I, I find really odd about this is that it has tons of different languages for the subtitles. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a close-up of that, but it's, it's pretty ridiculous. You have English... Uh, French, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic, Dutch, Finnish. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's crazy. Um, you know, I, I just thought that was kind of weird because you, you don't really see that on uh, a lot of movies these days. But still, uh, a good film and a really good Blu-ray to have in your collection. Next up, we have Dennis Quaid and Ben Foster in Pandorum. Um, this is a science fiction horror movie. And you know, when I bought this, I, I paid only $10 for it, so I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, really great. Uh, but it turned out to be a, a pretty damn good movie. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to tell you much about the plot because, again, I have reviewed this. Uh, so please, go check out my review of it. Um, and leave me a comment, tell me uh, what you thought of any of these movies. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's a good film, uh, good picture quality as well. Next up, Planet Fifty One. This one is a a decent family film. Um, I mean, picture quality is good. A lot of the jokes 
didn't really work well for me. I think a lot of them fell flat. And I just think the story wasn't well thought out. Um, for what it was, though, it it did have some funny moments, and it it, it was a, a, a decent film. Uh, it just could have been a lot better. Uh, you do get a decent amount of special features. Uh, you do get a DVD and a digital copy as well, though. So, uh, a decent release from Sony. Next up is another one of my favorite movies. It is The Princess Bride. Um, this is a release from MGM. And uh, they they come out with, with a lot of, of ones that actually have the, the DVD as well. Um, so, I mean, I, I think that's that's really cool. And I, I was re very happy when, this, uh, when I opened this and found that it wasn't a double-sided DVD. But uh, this is a, a really, really well thought out movie. It's uh, it's based off a book. I um, can't remember who wrote it, but um, just uh, a really cool movie. has, you know, really um, unforgettable characters in it. Uh, th this really is a classic film. I, I definitely recommend watching this. Uh, really good picture quality as well. Um, just a great film. Definitely one to have in your collection. Next up is Reservoir Dogs. Um, again, go check out my review of this. Uh, great film. I saw this for the first time on Blu-ray and I definitely wasn't disappointed. Uh, good story. Well directed. Well written. Um, good picture quality. You can pick this up for 10 bucks. No reason that this isn't in your Blu-ray collection. Other than the fact that it doesn't have uh, a lot of special features. Alright, next up we have Rocky Balboa. Now, as you can see, um, I still have that on there, so I haven't really watched it yet. But I, I've heard good good things. Uh, now, this is probably going to get me a lot of hate comments, but I haven't seen any Rocky movies whatsoever. Uh, but, you know, I got this really cheap for like five bucks, so I, I figured I'd give it a try. Now, in an earlier video, I talked about Firefly. Um, this is the movie uh, that resulted from the uh, series being canceled. This is done by Universal. Uh, it's written and directed by Joss Whedon. Has all the same cast in the um, that was in the uh, the TV show. But um, just a really awesome movie. They, they tweaked a, a little, a few little story elements, so it it may contradict a few things in the show, but um, still an awesome movie. Uh, has a, a great villain in it. Um, picture quality is excellent on this, and you do get quite a few special features. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a review of this one soon. I, I really, really love this film. All right, uh, next up is Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it stars Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, Rachel McAdams, and Mark Strong. And uh, when I first saw the preview of this, <clears throat> I, I I really didn't think much of it. But um, I was really surprised and, and happy to find that this is a really good film. And I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Um, definitely pick this, this Blu-ray up. Picture quality is awesome, and it's just a, a great film overall. Alright guys, well that does it for part 7 of my Blu-ray collection. Uh, tune in next time for part 8. Um, I'm probably only going to have a few more parts of these, so uh, it should be ending soon. Alright guys, uh, have a good one.